identify approach yourself identify yourself citizens Law will not abiding. be harmed citizens will not be harmed Hmm. Let's have a look. Yeah. All right. You'll have to do. Ha! You got grit. I'll give you that. I could use some muscle. I'm an issue at Dodge with the Appalachian chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. I got word that members from Mariposa are on their way here now. It's critical that I lay the groundwork they need to get a foothold in this region. Are you up for it? Fine, but be quick. I don't have time for a leisurely chin wag. Um, the deserter. Okay, and before you go getting all curious to hear Grandpa Vernon. Yeah. The Appalachian chapter, my chapter, once stood the best chance. This old husk in front of you is all that's left. Hopefully, the training I have with my chapter's specialized tools can still be of service to the Californian Brotherhood. Huh. Well, that doesn't quite... But it took some chops to get that far. Now I'm the last one left, Farza. My chapter developed a number of methods for dealing with the threats of this... Perfect. Time is of the essence. I compiled a list of locations the Brotherhood had previously been tracking as enemy hotspots. Every day I'll highlight a location and a mission that can provide the Brotherhood a strategic advantage. I call these daily ops. Head there using your map, and I'll provide instructions. Complete the mission, and there'll be compensation. If you're fast and efficient, I'll even up the reward. So pay attention in there, and work quickly. Come see me after your first stop, and I'll throw in an extra something for you. If you have any questions about daily ops, ask. Otherwise, hit your map, find the op, Let's take back Appalachia.
Dodge here. I found radio interceptors in your area. Someone's listening in on our communications. I'm not sure who it is, but I don't like it. Yeah, it's a bit too crowded in there for me to provide you with quality intel. See if you can reduce their numbers first. Oh, these guys hit hard. Keep to the shadows and strike fast. Too much noise and you'll be in over your head. Let's go 
Oh, thank God you're here. I almost... It's just so good to see you. Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as this place is, there's... someone I'd like you to meet. We really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around.
It's good to see you, but we need to focus on the inoculation. Is it done? I know. Believe me, I know. But we can't focus on what other... I know I owe you a sit-down, but I'll be quick. Once you're on board... Now, the inoculation. The bar owner? Wasn't easy, Hulk. I've got some plans to make this whole thing easier. But we need to get you taken. I'm not... So please, you need to... Good, because we're gonna need a lot more of it. Have you been to the mountains lately? It's not just us anymore. People from outside Appalachia are coming in. I snuck around two of the larger groups and saw them both building. Walls, housing, defensive positions, they're coming to stay. Each and every one of them is walking into a medical crisis they don't even know about. I don't know if you've been following the rumors, but there's something in the mountains. No one's managed to get into it yet. But one thing's for certain, it's a vault. I eavesdropped on some of the newcomers, and whatever is inside there has gone from speculative guesses to full-blown fantasy. Stories of untold riches would draw groups of people even before we turn the world into a wasteland. Hope and greed are powerful motivators. I don't want to lead us down the wrong track, but I've got my suspicions. The goal, but first we need to make sure the newcomers don't get infected. We can't rely on that old hospital holding out indefinitely. They're... Judging by the architecture, the ones to the north are the old Raider Pals that crazy robot Rose keeps going on about. You might, uh, need to talk to her about them. See if she can arrange a meeting or, or whatever their word is for we need to talk, don't shoot us. The ones to the south look more like a caravan of families, but who knows what they've been through. Don't let your guard down around either of them. Oh, yeah. I can't remember the official... The reality is a little different, though, isn't it? Do you think I like sending you into harm's way? I don't. But we... Anyway, I'm sure you must have other questions. We can talk about them now, if you want. Or, if you're ready to... Vault 76 is a fa- Pretty hypocritical for me, of all people, to take up. At first I was just racing ahead. And then there were the nukes. The scorched plague. 
See my old. Abandoned you? Do you have any idea how hard it was to walk out that breaking vault tech protocol to leave behind my camp? The hall. I've never stopped to be. I grew up here. My parents used to live just down the hill. If they. Let's hear them. That's just it. I don't know. I thought, but now I'm wondering if we were all just one... And what happens once there's more nukes landing? I know. You did what you were asked. A and so did I. Sometimes. Well, remember, it's not a scavenger hunt. I hope... Well, remember... Stay careful out there. Together. You need to talk? Stay careful.
Who it is. <laughs> I was wondering when you'd show up. Not that I'm a stalker or anything. I totally saw you heading my way. So, <laughs> what's on your mind? You miss. you think you're pretty clever there. No, no, I get it. I mean, I did maybe. But let's let bygones be bygones, huh? In fact, I'll Wow, cashing in that favor already, huh? <laughs> I'm game. That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on her good side. And I am pretty sure I can swing it. Just a couple of hard-working losers. You know, they're giving Spruce Knob a real makeover, too. Putting up walls, rearranging. Meg thinks she's pretty tough since she ran off on Margie. She wasn't even around to see the end of it all. Bet she's loving the fact that they bailed at the perfect time. I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that? Next, I'm gonna draw her ass out here with an egg. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. He was an emotional guy. I get it. But I need you to... Eh, just some old thing Rosalind made for David when they... You know, sappy romance. Surprised? Sure, he may have killed a name. I'm pretty sure that's how... Yeah, about that. He thought the others would think he... So, hope you like. You gotta get to David's room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that memorial is. I ain't saying you'll have to trash the place. Easy peasy, right? Nah, not high up on my list of things to do. I'm just here to... Besides, I'm cutthroat for life. And I got my little buddy here to keep me company. Eh, this'll always be home. I can't leave top of the world. 
That'd be like betraying David, and we both know that'll never happen. Also, I may have pissed off Meg once or twice back in the day. Besides, I got the best view in town, and I'm pretty sure that white crap blowing around in the valley would Well, duh. I mean, when it comes to being a raider, I... Lead? <laughs> no way! I got the band back together to watch, not to manage the tour. Plus, now that they're pouring in, you can bet Appalachia just got a... Doubtful. Meg's probably keen on carving out her own territory, and the crater... Eh, this'll always be cutthroat territory to her anyway. <sighs> Back to business, just how I like it. Ready? Ha! I knew I could count on you! And I swear, this will work. The shack alone will have Meg come looking around. I know I'm irresistible and all, but if you want to talk to Meg, you're gonna need that trophy and program stacked. 